All right, people, listen up. This is serious business here. I'm so serious that I put on pants. There is a Hololive fighting game coming out. That was the sound of my brain turning into oatmeal. My two worlds are colliding together, but I'm sure you guys know that. I've uploaded reactions and I have talked about it on my stream. However, I really, really want to go over all the trailers and what this game has to offer before it comes out on the 5th of May. May 5th, people. Hey guys, future me here. I'm just letting you guys know that I feel like an absolute jackass. Why? Because I did this video moving the microphone a lot and I don't have a shock mount for that microphone. So every time I moved it, the cable moves and every time the cable moves, the microphone has a little stroke. So I would like to apologize in advance for the microphone quality. Again, I can't catch a break with these videos, I swear to God. So if you hear a lot of thumping and a lot of thudding, it's because the cable's hitting the microphone stand and I don't have a shock mount to cancel that out. I apologize for the very bad audio. I will fix it next time, I promise. But other than that, enjoy the video, everybody. Now today, the Idol Showdown Twitter account has actually uploaded a video going over one of the mechanics in the game, which is the collab system. Now we'll be getting into that, but first, I wanna take a look at every single one of the trailers for this game. Let's start off with the initial one. The first trailer. We open up with the first stage a very Japanese stage with Miko and Mio sitting at the very top now immediately this tells me that Miko and Mio are not going to be part of the base roster maybe later down the line I'm not sure Miko and Mio are background characters first observation then we get a look at our very first character in the game which is Korone now the fact that Korone made it it made me very very happy anyways a couple things that I learned from her gameplay is that the fact that she has boxing gloves for her normal attack she has a chainsaw because of course chainsaw and dog go together like milk and cereal she looks like she has a very feral move set getting on all her force, being like a dog, having lunging attacks and just being cute just by existing. And she has a command grab that references one of her original jokes and her original memes called X Potato. And if you don't know what that is, it's essentially her mispronouncing Exposito's name in the game Blasphemous. That is a boss fight there. And she called it X Potato and the rest is history. So, Corone has been revealed. Very nice. The next character on the list is Fubuki and Fubuki is an incredible addition to this. She looks like she's going to be an agility type character where she's going very fast. Now, the only notable thing that I can see from this tidbit of gameplay is that she changes into Kurokami, which is a counterpart or an evil twin sister type of thing. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not keeping up with the lore. All I know is that whenever Kurokami shows up on screen, everyone goes goo goo gaga. However, I don't know. We're going to have to find out when the game actually comes out or unless they give us other confirmation beforehand. I don't know if this is a stance change or if this is a super. It looks like it's like a super where it's like her level three where she changes in Kurokami and she does like some sort of ultimate move and then she changes back into Shirokami. I I'm not 100% sure, but either way, we'll find out with time. Bubuki was revealed. Very nice. The third of the four characters is going to be Yodazo. Now this is a character that I'm very, very excited for because in terms of her lore, she seems like a very interesting character to play as a fighting game because she's got swords. To be specific, katanas. They both have names. One of them is named Asashuna and the other one's name is Rasetsu, which by the way are pretty badass names. She looks like she uses these two katanas for her normal attacks. She also has a giant spiked club that she swings at you and bonks you very, very hard, which is actually an homage to the Hollow Graffiti anime, which is a short little animations that Hollow Live produces that showcases a lot of the Hollow Live girls shenanigans. And the last thing is that she gets all of her clones, which is another thing for the Hollow Graffiti, that she shows up with a whole bunch of different clothes and she says, yo dazo, yo dazo, yo dazo. Well, she takes out all these clones and she fucks you up, <laughs> which I find very adorable and very cool. I hope we do get a little bit of an Easter egg to her just sitting there, you know? That's like my mood constantly. If we get that in this fighting game, I would be very, very happy. Ayame revealed. I'm very excited to play her. And lastly, we come to the final character, which is Toki no Sora. The Fasto one, the OG, the one that started it all. Now, when it comes to Sora, she actually has a very musical theme to her where she uses musical notes, she uses instruments, she uses different ways to be able to sing you a, a, a harmonious melody while also beating your ass, which to be honest, I'm all for. If I'm gonna get my ass beat, I might as well have my ass beat to a beat, you know what I mean? Now, the one thing that really caught my eye with Sora was the fact that Achan shows up as a little bit of an Easter egg. I'm not sure if this is like a counter where if you touch Achan, something happens, or if this is just like a taunt, or if this is just like a showcase of an assist mechanic. I'm not sure. Other than that, she seems like a very interesting character. She's dancing, she's being cute, and she uses Uncle Chan as a weapon of mass destruction. Very nice. Now, one thing that I realized about this entire trailer is that all of the characters show off some sort of a grab. I'm not sure if all of them have a command grab or if that's just a universal grab and the animations for that is going to be what they show Case, which makes it hard for me to see if there's going to be command grabs in this game. If somebody's going to be a command grab character, there's only one character I know for sure is going to have a command grab. Let's talk about her real quick. The Coco trailer. Now, obviously, this is probably my most anticipated character and the one that I'm going to be playing first when the game actually comes out. Now, I'll go ahead and I'll give you my honest opinion on Coco being in the game. Uh... 
Holy shit. And that's about as raw as my reaction will get. But well, let's go ahead and take a look at what this trailer has to offer with her toolkit. But before that, I want to talk about the stage itself. There's some really cool references, and it makes me realize that these people who are developing this game definitely know what they're doing because there's so many different Easter eggs. Just like in Hollow Care, this game also has a bunch of them, like the Subaru duck dancing. You got Amelia Watson in the background in her van, among a whole bunch of other ones that I don't want to get into because this video will be way too long. So let's get into the character. First and foremost, yes, she is a dragon, a big ass dragon. Now, this trailer immediately showcases that she has flames, she has a clock, and she has a bunch of different memes. Fire, clock, and memes. The fire is paying homage, obviously she's a dragon. The clock is obviously for the good morning motherfucker. And the memes are because she likes memes. And of course the Reddit meme review that everyone loved when she was around. It seems like with every single one of the characters, whenever she command grabs you or grabs you in general, I don't know if it's a command grab or the universal grab, but every time she grabs you, she showcases off a different meme that pertains to that character. And I think that's really, really cool. Now, I love the fact that she has a pot buster or a cocoa buster is what I like to call it, where she grabs you, she takes you up into the air, way high up in the sky, and she changes into a dragon, puts you right on her ass cheeks, maybe between, maybe on the side, not sure. And then she drops down and puts her gigantic dragon ass on you. I must say, the developers really know what they're doing with that. I'm sure a lot of people would even pay for an opportunity like that, but uh, not me. I'm a gentleman. I'm classy. I think this goes without showing, but she is most definitely a grappler. Now, they did show off Kanata here, and just like Achan, I'm not 100% sure if she is a part of her toolkit or if she's a assist of some kind. I'm not 100% sure. I'm leaning towards that she is an assist because of other trailers that we're going to be seeing right now, actually. But overall, Coco is going to be a very fun character. I think she's going to be a character that I'm not sure if I'm going to be maining in the long run because I don't main grapplers, but who knows? This might be my first one that I will forever main. But there's other characters that are very attractive to me when it comes to play style. Yeah, Coco's gonna be a good one though. Let's go ahead and talk about the Suisei trailer, huh? Now Suisei is a pretty interesting character, kind of like Sora, where she actually has music incorporated into her play style, where she has a microphone. It reminds me a lot of Rise from Persona 4 Arena Ultimax, where she also has like a microphone of some kind and she utilizes it to beat your ass. Suisei kind of has something like that, but instead she has a cord and she has a microphone in hand and she does all sorts of different things. She also has, of course, Tetris incorporated into her play style as well, because she is very very, very good at Tetris. We've seen this before with Hollow Cure, where she has a lot of Tetris oriented moves, which I think is really cool. Mike oriented gameplay like Rise and a Tetris Fiend, obviously. And this is kind of like where the assist discussion started popping up because we saw our very first example possible assist, which is Miko coming in there being all whoopsity daisy. Very clumsy of her, but this opened up the discussion to, of course, there being more characters alongside the base roster. And that's where that point that I made earlier with Miko being a background character kind of comes back up. She's going to be an assist character instead of like just a pure background character. So who knows? We might see Mio very soon. But overall, Suisei is going to be great. She's going to be seeing a lot of different play because Suisei is great. Stellar, stellar. Am I right, boys? Well, buy me a tie and call me daddy. Aki's in this game. I'll be damned. That's right. The fact that Aki Rosenthal is going to be in this game only adds to my excitement because I have Korone, I have Coco, and now I have Aki. By the way, Aki came out before Coco, which I was very excited about. But now that Coco's out, I'm kind of just thinking about about it all as a is it whole <sighs> still trying to digest now i find aki's gameplay to be the most interesting because she has a stand aka mukirose which to be honest with you the fact that it's not jimmy it makes me kind of upset however i love what they did with Aki. Not because she's the VTuber equivalent of Shakira, but she actually has some pretty interesting gameplay mechanics that makes me very excited. With different teleports, different ways to summon Mukiros, and of course, the hip dancing. Interesting gameplay with Mukiros and the teleports, and of course, hips. Now, this video also kind of confirms the whole assist debacle, which is called Collapse officially. And this is where we get to see a whole bunch of different things, such as Mio finally being in here, Roboko, and of course, Miko that we saw from the Suisei trailer. And it actually gives us our very first look into how the game will look like when loading in. They have a little, you know, face off versus screen that says collabing with, and then you see your assist character, and of course, your character there as well which is fantastic. With the assist being confirmed, it does remind me of a lot of different games, such as Dengeki Bunko Fighting Climax Ignition. Yes, that is a name, it is very long, and I'm exhausted. Or Aquapaza. 
Such a difference in names, I swear to God. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that the other characters won't come in in the future, because I have seen examples of that, where they first showcase them off as assist characters or background characters, and then they bring them in at a later date. So yeah, assists, aka collabs, are making it into the game, which I think is really cool. Like I mentioned before, Aki's gameplay seems the most fascinating to me, and I wouldn't be surprised if she ends up being my ultimate main because of what I've seen from the trailer and because reasons. And with that being said, let's take a look at the final character trailer that we have. And the one character that I do believe might be one of the most popular characters in this game, Botan. I swear I'm going to be eating a couple of bullets from this character. Oh, by the way, before I forget, in the Aki trailer beforehand, I didn't mention how sick the stage was. Look at this stage. She's singing at a bar and it's like a restaurant. These stages are looking really cool. Anyways, on to the Botan trailer. Botan looks incredibly cool. I think the coolest part about Botan is the fact that on top of her John Wick-like arsenal of weapons, she has a shopping cart and I freaking love that the devs you little devils I love the shopping cart and I'm so glad that you brought it in here The shopping cart is 100% one of the coolest things about this character I swear to god the last character that I remember that had a shopping cart in their arsenal was Frank West in Marvel vs Capcom 3 And that character was badass So just a life lesson for you kids if they have a shopping cart, they're probably really cool I also love the fact that they gave her a grenade super and I'm just telling you right now I'm going to be using that super a lot Okay, you might as well call me the Pillsbury poi boy because I I'm going to be throwing so many grenades. Boy, grenades are sick. On the camera, it kind of looks like poil. But don't let that distract you from the fact that Botan does fucking trick shots. If someone's showing up to the battlefield like this, you done fucked up now! You ain't getting out of there unscathed. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Either way, the trick shots, the grenades, the shopping carts, everything like that kind of ultimately makes me conclude that this might be one of the most popular characters out there. Not just because, you know, Botan is Botan, but because her arsenal looking really fun. And that brings us to the final trailer of the video. The the collabs. Yep, this is basically the section where I was referencing in the beginning of the video where they get to explain how collabs, aka assists, work in this game. Now, when it comes to the collabs, there's two different ways you can utilize it. The first way would be to how you can utilize any other assist in any other fighting game, which is you just call them in, they attack the opponents very safely or quickly or whatever. But it's just a very simple attack. And of course, every collab character has a different assist move. And then there's the second way you can utilize the collab mechanic, which is the off collabs, which is essentially like a super type move, an ultimate move that your collab partner can do and they can change the tide of the match apparently. For example, in this trailer, we saw freaking Marin come in with a giant ass ship and shoot you in the face. You got Kanata controlling the tides, doing her Soran Soran dance. You got Amelia stopping fucking time. It's kind of crazy. So you got the star call-ins, which are the simple assist attacks, and of course the off collabs, which are the big super-like attacks. I don't know how they're gonna be working, how often you can do them. I imagine they're once per round, or maybe once per match. I'm not sure. Or maybe there's a meter that you can build. We'll have to see when the game comes out. Now this trailer actually confirmed a couple of other collab characters, such as Iroha and Marin and Amelia and such. However, Special shout out to Marin for having the funniest assist attack in the entire game. She just holds on to you for dear life, probably wanting to do something very, 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 very yabai. But the implication is actually very hilarious. Now, out of all these different trailers, what did we exactly learn? What can we take away from all of this? We have, of course, the assists, which, of course, is like the collabs. There's the star call-ins and the off collabs. That's a really cool thing that they're doing. You have auto combos, possibly. Now, every single one of these characters that I have seen the trailers for have a specific string with which I am going to be deeming as an auto combo. I could be wrong though. That's why I put the possibly there, but it seems like there's going to be a string that is universal throughout all the characters and the string differs from every character. So that's what I'm deeming as possibly auto combos. Of course, you got different supers, which we've seen with Botan and who knows, maybe even that big old command grab that Coco has with she turns into a dragon is a super. I'm not sure. And last but not least, something we didn't talk about this video, but we will talk about now, the level threes. Now the level threes, I'm very happy for because level threes are one of the coolest things about fighting games. It's an ultimate move that's devastating that could possibly lead to the end of the match or it could lead to some incredible damage. But primarily what they're there for is flash. Now for a game like this, a fan game, this is going to be very nice. My personal favorite one has to be the Suise one. There's something about it that seems just visceral and very Akuma-like, where she kind of just turns around. Cool guys don't look at explosions type of energy, you know? But I cannot wait to see all of the level three supers. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we have now concluded 
our video today on Idol Showdown. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are excited for this, if you guys are going to be playing. It is free to play. It's on Steam. It's going to be out on May 5th. I'm going to be playing it on my Twitch. So you guys go in the description down below. Follow me there. It's going to be fun. I'm going to be going into every single one of these characters on May 5th, and I am stoked to be able to play this and possibly play against other people. Anyways, I'll see you guys all on May 5th. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I broke out the whiteboard, bro. It's the least you can do. Anyways, bye-bye.